The proximal row of the carpal bones are made up of the scaphoid, lunate, and triquetrum. The scaphoid and lunate are held together by a C-shaped scapholunate ligament, whilst the lunate and the triquetrum are held together by the lunar triquetrum ligaments. Scaphalunate ligament injuries usually occur as a result of falling onto an outstretched hand. This can lead to the malpositioning of the carpal bones, known as a dorsal intercalated segment instability. As the scaphalunate ligament is injured, the presence of the lunar triquetral ligaments will exert a net extension force onto the lunate, which will cause it to hyperextend. The scaphoid, on the other hand, can undergo some flexion and radial displacement. In the early stages of a scaphalunate ligament injury, there may be no signs on plain PA x-rays unless a stress view is taken. A stress view entails that a patient is clenching their fists. This can reveal a widening of the scaphalunate interval, known as the Terry Thomas sign. This stage of the scaphalunate instability is known as a dynamic instability, as the signs are only visible in a stress view. As the scaphoid undergoes flexion, also known as rotary subluxation, a scaphoid ring sign may be seen on the PA view of an X-ray. The ring is produced by the segment of the scaphoid that is protruding volarly. A positive sign is seen when the distance between the ring and the proximal pole of the scaphoid is within a certain distance. On the lateral view of the wrist, the scaphoid lunate angle can also be measured. In this model, the lunate can only be seen after removing the pisiform and triquetrum. First, draw a line along the axis of the lunate. Then draw another line along the volar axis of the scaphoid. The scaphoid angle indicates a dorsal intercalated segment instability if it is greater than 70 degrees. As the instability progresses, it can lead to a condition called the scaphoid advanced collapse. There will be an increased articulation between the scaphoid and the radiostyloid, which can lead to a radioscaphoid arthritis. Other signs include the proximal migration of the capitate and other features of radiocarpal arthritis.